It's a story with uh, a lot of twists and turns. This latest one, while well, family members and friends saying it's disturbing, they say that while volunteers were searching for the missing hunter, they saw somebody else driving his truck. It's a scary moment that they describe and one that's prompted a second search. At just 41 years old, Ian Eccles of Kent is a grandfather. I always post some pictures of his uh, adventures or his grandbabies. A family man who's a lifelong hunter. That's what his friends say he planned to do on May 17th. Eccles camped solo in a forest north of Cleella, planning to meet friends the following morning. It's also not unusual for him to skip the first morning hunt, right? Sleep in. Uh, so they weren't concerned yet. When he didn't come back, friends and family immediately knew something was wrong. Then Monday, when he didn't show up to work, uh, that's when we all knew uh, something was really, really bad. That's where the story takes another turn. As volunteers and law enforcement were searching for Eccles, Dan Lynn, a family spokesperson, says someone saw another man driving Eccles' Toyota FJ Cruiser. And as I was coming up, one of our teams was up on the mountain and encountered somebody else driving Ian's truck. Kittitas County Sheriff's launched a multi-agency search by air and land, asking the public to stay out of the area. It goes from switching this whole mentality of, uh, of, of what you're looking for. Um, so it's, it also, uh, it also changes the, uh, possible outcomes. So it was, uh, it was kind of devastating. Investigators releasing this information about the suspect. He's described as a Hispanic or Native American male, 20s to 30s, mid 30s. He's heavy set with a chubby face, round nose, short cropped black hair, and he was last seen escaping law enforcement. Law enforcement saying it was a comprehensive search, but he managed to get away uh, in that vehicle. If you have any information, you're asked to contact the Kittitas County Sheriff's Office. In Kent, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.